All right, Marshall Mims asked for this video. Um, he wanted me to look at the specs and give you guys my opinions on it. So obviously I'm gonna do that. This is the new Z Force Z10 for 2025. I don't know anything about Z Force machines. I'm gonna throw that out there right now. Um, and I don't really know that much about sports side by sides. I've had a few talons. So my opinion on this is probably about as irrelevant as it could get, but I'm gonna give it to you anyway. So I think it looks sexy. It's like a combo of like a Polaris and a Can-Am kind of mixed together. Um, the visibility out of the cabin is not going to be great. You've got a very tall back here where your intercooler is, I'm guessing. Um, and it's going to feel a little bit like sitting in an X3. You've got these big blind spots on the corner here. Um, the seam position looks fairly low. But I do think it looks really good. Um, front suspension, really long arms, mounted pretty close together. Um, nothing too groundbreaking here, just double A arm. I see a front sway bar length there, so it's got a front sway bar. That's pretty cool. Tires are big and meaty. Uh, yes, if you look at the side view here, we see we got trailer arm suspension, sway bar. Um, this all looks very Can-Am, the way this um, this because trailing arm is stamped out and stuff. Um, and there's a big exhaust here. There's a turbo right there. Um, we'll get into the specs after this, don't you worry. Let's go to the back view and tell you if I can tell you. It's got a two-inch receiver, which is cool. You don't get that in a Honda Talon. Um, these links look very Talon-esque. It's got some crazy CV joints that have a travel in the middle. So uh, I'm guessing these joints are locked down here and here and the only travels in the center of the shaft. That's a little wild. Um, so you got your two radius rods here and I see a third radius rod up front, which means it's probably got some kind of fancy suspension. It's not a traditional um, three link like you get on a Talon X, but it is a 64 inch machine, which is cool. So it is taller than it is wide. Over here we see we got some really big CV ducts. Um, so it's gonna have good belt cooling, like to see that. Um, I'd rather not see a belt to be honest, but you know, when there is a belt, you gotta have good cooling. Um, that's all I can tell you about this little thing looking at it right here. Okay, so nerdy spec review here. Uh, we're going to talk about the U-Pro 10 in here too because I saw some funny stuff I want to bring up there. But first, the Z-Force 10 versus the Talon X, um, just how they compare. So, of course, the Z-Force has a turbo and a three-cylinder, so it's got more horsepower. So very different engine, right? we got a three-cylinder, we got a turbo versus the Talon X, which has a naturally aspirated two-cylinder. Um, so a lot more horsepower, but a lot more weight. So the dry weight is 300 pounds heavier than the Talon X's wet weight which means in reality, because of how people lie, this Z-Force 10 is probably 400 pounds heavier than the Talon X. So you couple that with the fact that it has a belt drive instead of the much more efficient DCT that Honda has, they're gonna be comparable speed. I bet the Z-Force 10 is still faster, uh, but you know, in a zero to 60 pull, it might be pretty close. Uh, interesting to see. The Z-Force 10 does have electric front locker where the Talon has BS I four wheel drive. It's turbo, of course. Um, length, it's uh, it's five inches longer, which I think is good. I think the Talon X is too short, so it's going to ride nice. Um, same with height. Uh, the Z Z10 is much lower down than the Talon X, and that's something I said earlier, right? The seating position is a lot lower. Um, it's a lot more like an X3, where the Talon X is a little more upright and gives you better visibility. I always prefer a higher seating position, personally. Fuel tank capacity, bigger fuel tank, but you need that because you're wasting a lot of energy. It's heat through the belt drive. Turning radius, exactly the same. Um, it's not great. Front suspension, 1720. Um, versus 14.6 and 15. So it's got more suspension travel, uh, which I think is good. The Talon X, for me, always had plenty, but for guys that you know run the dunes and stuff, more suspension travel is better. So they're about the same price, but you're getting more suspension travel and more horsepower with the Z-Force, but you're losing the deliciously fun to drive double clutch transmission where you can actually bang your own gears. And um, you know that's kind of a buzzkill, just having a CVT and having all that extra weight. Um, I put question marks here to, to remind me to show you something funny. So if you go over here and you look at the turning radius, I mean, the suspension travel, there's a typo on the CF Moto website. It says turning radius front rear 1720. That's supposed to say suspension travel. You can verify that looking right here in the brochure. Um, but anyway, let's talk about the U10 Pro. This is hilarious. So U10 Pro versus P1K. These specs are almost identical. So you can definitely tell they're going after the Honda Pioneer 1000 market with this U10 Pro. Same engine CCs. Horsepower, they're claiming 88. The new Pioneer, I think, is around 84. No one really knows that I'm aware of. Um, but it definitely has more horsepower than the older Pioneer. But I think they're going to be comparable. The Pioneer will probably be faster because, again, belt drive versus DCT. DCT is more efficient. Weight, um, it is a pretty heavy girl. So the Pioneer is about 1,600 pounds. This thing is 1,750. So 150 pounds more on the dry weight, which probably means 200-ish pounds heavier. So it's going to be heavy. Um, both have a front diff lock. Both don't have turbos. They are both 117 inches long. They are both 64 inches wide. They are both 77 inches tall. They both have a 13.9 foot turning radius. 
They both have 11 inches of front suspension travel. They both have 10 inches of rear suspension travel. You see what I'm saying here? The specs are almost identical, but this is coming in $3,000 cheaper than the Pioneer, which is pretty impressive. Actually, that's wrong. That is not the Pioneer price. That is the uh, Talon X price. Let's find the Pioneer price for you so we can have a correct video. I don't want to give you guys bad info. Drag this over. Pioneer 1000. Overview. Um, 17.6 is the starting MSRP. Okay, let's correct that. I thought that sounded like too good of a deal. Okay, too good to be true. It's only $600 cheaper than the Honda. There's my opinion. I think it's a big copy. Uh, I 100% would not buy the U10 Pro over a Pioneer 1000. Um, the Pioneer 1000's cable actuated front locker is great. And also, you know, it doesn't have a belt. However, these two right here could be some pretty good competition. And I'm interested to see reviews on this and how it holds up.